what's growing on guys and how the harvest are you welcome to another DIY episode of aqua and hydroponics today we are going to make one of these this is going to be a self-watering herb garden so the first thing you're going to need is one of these sterilite containers it cost me about a buck at big lots you're going to need your uh, plants that we've already um, taking the soil off of them and that's in another video if you guys want to check that out it's on our channel you're going to need some uh, K cups we're recycling um, some K cups for this little guy you're going to need you're going to use seeds you're going to need some uh, seed starters we're not going to do that we're going to actually put plants in there you're going to need an air pump with an air stone um, this is not needed, but um, we're actually going to try one with an air stone and one without an air stone and see what happens to the bowl. Um, you're going to need a one inch spade bit and you're going to need about a uh, two inch hole saw. Um, you don't need that. You can use a knife or a razor blade to cut these holes out. And then you're going to need some General Hydroponics Maxi Grow or any type of your favorite hydroponics powder or liquid because that's what we're going to put up in the box. So anyway, let's get started and we'll start making our self-watering herb garden. We're going to drill our holes on our top first. We're going to put the drill in reverse to make sure that we don't have to clean up a whole bunch of plastic. Next step is to pour your about a half gallon of water into your container. Grow calls for one to two teaspoons per gallon, so we are going to put full strength, which is one teaspoon. It comes with a handy little measuring thing one side's one tablespoon, one side's one teaspoon. So you're going to put your little uh, your maxi grow powder in there. You're going to mix it around however you want to mix it around. If you're going to use an air stone in yours, you really don't have to worry about mixing it up. If you're not going to use an air stone in there, you're going to need to uh, mix it up before you start putting your plants in there. So then we're going to put our top on here. This is the one without the air stone. We're going to take some sweet basil that we, like I said, that we've already um, cleaned the uh, soil off of the roots. We're going to drop it into the neti cup. We're going to take a little bit of rock wool. Actually, we'll do this. We'll take the rock wool, we'll split it in half. We'll put the plant in the rock, split the rock wool in half, put the plant in there, drop the plant through the little uh, K cup, stick it in there, and we're done. All right, you want to know why your K-cups are so expensive? So after you take the foil off, you take the coffee grounds out, there's this little coffee filter that is glued into the inside of the rim of the plastic, um, whatever this little K-cup. And that's why these are so expensive. Um, so why not use them and make a little self-watering herb garden or stop using them all together because they're not recyclable and use the self, the, use, the reusable ones. So this is why these are so expensive. So when you're making your cups, you're gonna take all of the foil off, take the coffee grounds out. If you do soil gardening, which we don't, um, you can use them for your compost because the coffee grounds are very acidic. So they uh, decompose all of your compost very quickly. But anyway, you're gonna rip that out and then you're gonna drill your hole and then you're gonna plant your plant. Just wanted to show you guys that real quick. If this is uh, an old oregano that I put in here just for demonstration purposes, if you kind of lift up the, the thing and there's some roots that are way too big, no big deal. Take it out, cut the roots off, put it back in. And if you're gonna use the pieces of herbs that you wanna use, well, which you should be doing anyway, um, basically what we do is we kind of stand it up and it's obviously depending on the type of plant that you have so this is a 
really nice piece of oregano right here. So what I'm gonna do is just cut a few off the bottom that I see that have some pretty decent sized uh, leaves on them. So I'm going to use that one. And you're basically just gonna trim your herbs like you normally would. This one right here is, is a little bit big and we need to probably, we're gonna replant it and put some uh, rock down there so that it stands up again. Um, but basically, you're gonna use your herbs anyway. So just trim them up. If they get too big, you're gonna use them. If the roots get too big, lift up the top, trim your roots, put it back down and you're good to go. If you have decided that you're going to use an air pump, then you're going to we put a little check valve on it, make sure you got the check valve facing the right way. You're going to lift your container up, feed your air tubing through the hole, put your air stone on the end of your airline hose, drop it in the bucket, in the tub I mean, and seal it up, connect it to your air pump, Plug it in and you're good to go. The final product, we have spearmint, peppermint, lemon balm, Mexican tarragon, sweet mint, Greek oregano, cinnamon basil, and sweet basil, and cilantro. So in this one is the air stone. As you can see, there is air bubbling in there. Don't worry about all the soil coming off the roots because you're gonna change the water every two weeks. Do not listen to what the packages say because all they wanna do is sell you more nutrient powder. So every two weeks, you're gonna change your nutrient solution and enjoy your fresh herbs on your countertops in your self-watering herb garden. If you like the video, please subscribe, comment below, do the heart, do the bell, do all the notification type stuff and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. This is Ron from Live Ocean Grown and talk to you soon.